Hello everyone, I'm going to do a quick video on pulling citations from PubMed into your citation manager of choice. Now, one important thing to note is that there is not a direct export from PubMed into citation managers. Um, there's no quick link there, so it's going to be a multi-step process unless you're using Zotero. Um, so because I use Zotero, it's a browser plugin. Um, when I do a search in PubMed, I see a little folder up at the top here. And what this does is it reads the information on the page and it tries to grab the citations it can see. So if you're using Zotero, one tip I have is change the display settings so you're displaying a lot of citations at once. And that way you can grab more at once if that is your goal. Um, so all I do is click on this folder. I check off what I'm interested in or I can select all. I'll just check off two for now. And I'll say OK. And I'll get a confirmation message that these citations have been pulled into my Zotero account. Um, you'll see the citation information here. Um, and all of the details over here should have been grabbed from PubMed. So that's how you would use Zotero. If you're using a different citation manager like RefWorks, um, EndNote, etc., um, what you'll do is go to the Send To menu. And the correct option to select from here is Citation Manager. Um, so you just select the number of citations you want to send to a file. The alternate way you can do this is to check off what you're interested in and then send it to the Citation Manager. So either way works. And then you just create a file and that will download a file to your computer. So I have done that ahead of time. And now you come to your uh, program that you're using. So in this instance, I'm using RefWorks, and you're just going to pull that file into your program of choice. Um, so in the case of RefWorks, the way we import a file is by going to the Import menu under References. Then you have to choose the filter. Um, in RefWorks, it's labeled as NLM PubMed, so keep that in mind. You won't find it under P for PubMed, but N for NLM. Then you'll need PubMed as your database. Um, you don't need to worry about this encoding, and now you just choose the file that you save to your computer. So usually it is a file titled citations.nbib, and you will open that and then import, like so. So we'll wait for that to import. Sometimes it's just a minute. There we go. And if I'm using RefWorks, I do like to take a look at the uh, last imported folder just to make sure that everything looks OK. And then you're done. Um, so it's an extra step if you're using RefWorks or EndNote, um, but it's not too cumbersome. And if you're using Zotero, um, because it's a browser plugin, you can pull stuff straight from PubMed. So I hope that helps, and have a good day. Bye.